Hey everybody, it's Timo here. In today's video, we're gonna play on the most broken bunk build there is currently in the game, and that's um, magic stuff or magic bond. Recently, recently it got buffed out, and now it is pretty damn strong. It has 15% magical penetration, and we're gonna penetrate our, we're gonna penetrate everyone with the magic bunk. So pretty much before the video starts, I want to remind you: only 6% of people who are watching my channel has subscribed. The rest didn't. Consider press subscribe button if you're interested in variety of broken builds, because this is what literally my whole channel is based on. And if you're interested in more broken builds, well, you gotta see them in the future, because uh, that's pretty much what I specialize my whole channel um, on broken builds. So yeah. Anyway, I hope I clear cleared that out for anyone who is curious, and we're gonna go back into the video. There is one build in particular that um, I want to mention. This is the magic stuff build, even though I already played it. I didn't have enough of it. It's way too good. And basically, in today's video, this is what we're gonna do again. We're gonna go and we're gonna bonk the living fuck out of everyone we're gonna come across. We're gonna use the combination of a judgment and smite, which gonna directly get benefited by the magic stuff, which has nine magical damage. We're also gonna use the holy aura that will increase our armor and resistance. We're gonna use the faithfulness. We're gonna use perseverance and protection from evil. Did I did I mention everything I wanted? probably here we go little gear set one more time for anyone curious um and basically right after this one we're gonna hop in the game and we're gonna go clap some chicks so yep let's get started and let's not waste any time of yours hate you and your fucking bonks and your bullshit fuck you and you know it you know what's bullshit you fucking know it don't lie to me don't lie to me you know what's bullshit fuck you Mika. Yeah, fuck you. You know it. You got that in smite too. You don't even got fucking spells. Fuck you. Yeah, let me blow your dad, bro. Come here. Sure, show what you got. Come here. <laughs> this guy talks so much shit. Holy cow. I haven't seen or heard a single person that wanted to have love with my family so much. Like, he was really into it, I'm telling you. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you and your mother. Fuck you and your father. I'm gonna fuck your We came across the bard, but um... I'm not that bloodthirsty, I'm gonna be honest. Let's see how much patience this guy has. Basically, basically, this is like a tag game. Let's see how good we're at dodging. <laughs> okay, he got this one. Damn, bro. What is the bro doing? <laughs> Alright, I'll just loot this guy, I guess. What's your PDR, bro? Like... I mean, does my PDR matter when you can't land a single hit? I don't think it does. Damn. This guy is doing it, though. Uh, this is futile. Gotta give him credit. Maybe he'll decide to push me. He's like, oh man, I shot him five times. Nah, I think I broke that guy. <laughs> You're like, nope, I'm fucking out of here. This is Ayn Worsed. <laughs> he even fucking closed the door behind him. Holy hell. Let's see if someone actually gonna come here. I'm not sure where the bard went though. Hmm. Oh. Bro, I'm not a statue, I'm a living person. Like, this guy gives zero fucks that I'm standing here, bro. <laughs> he just walks in and is like, oh, you're just standing still here. Yeah, all right, sure, I'll, I'm just gonna take a rope, okay? <laughs> like, what the hell? This guy has zero survival extinct. Like, <laughs> no, I couldn't make myself kill him. It's not worth it. I do believe, though, he probably ended up getting something. Because if you play the whole match, even if you're a new player, you still will end up finding some blue and purple items for sure. Alright, so there are three people who decide to team up on me. How about we do a little bit of reverse psychology? We're not gonna run away from them, we're gonna do the exact opposite. We're gonna fucking find them when they already managed to team up. And we'll do our best to fight all three of them at the same time. I think that's not a bad idea, what do you say? They agreed to team up in the mid room. I'm not 100% certain if um, they had enough time. But it's okay. Oh, I don't want to get hit by this mob. It's okay. Oh! Look what we have here! There he is. He's right 
<laughs> okay, that's good. Good start. He wastes his Achilles. Oh, this guy is dead already. Oh, one more hit. Boom, dead. Let's heal up. Let's get up and fight whoever is left on top. Let's see who do we have here. Never mind, they're all at the bottom. We're gonna open the door up. And ideally, ideally, we'll lock one guy out. Well, this is the barb. They both pre-buffed. Okay. By the way, I'm not playing trios. This is solo matchup, by the way. <laughs> Literally solo game. Okay. One, two, three. All right. He fully buffed. I'm gonna judge him and I'm gonna back away. Because um, he has a very good gear. Has a bunch of additional and um, lots of purples. I used the wrong potion. It's fine. Especially, it's okay. He's gonna cast spells, so it's actually it's fine. But the magic protection pots they're actually quite expensive. Ah oh, shit! I think he fell down. I thought he would try and fight me here. It's okay though. How about we do the same? I actually didn't mean to jump down. I meant to stroke around and open the door, but okay. Oh, look who I have here. Pika Vista, motherfucker. Okay, one more. What can I say? You guys did your best. You know what they say? Practice makes it perfect. So it's okay. Another couple of years of free teaming and you will eventually get me. Definitely not a better temp, I would say. By the way, this guy was geared. He is uh, basically... I think his whole gear set is like around two and a half more or less bunch of purples bunch of additional magical will move speed really good stuff by the way okay necklace suck magic book is good the mace is around another 400 gold shield has uh, armor and uh, other good stats I'm not sure what I want, fucking want to take no good bandages or pots oh yeah I want to take a shield as well Freak. I'm not sure what to do because majority of the stuff is good enough. Oh well. This is the fucking rogue that stole my gear. You piece of shit. That barb was very geared. I gotta get him somehow. Come on, my friend. Bitch, he doesn't believe me. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. Yeah, he's gonna get away. Bro, this piece of shit looted that gear barb. Bitch. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. You motherfucker. I didn't leave a single piece, bro. You have to be fucking kidding me. By the time I was done with the third guy, boom, gone. Geared barb fucking evaporated. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> this fucking rogues. Oh man, listen, gotta give him credit. Fucking 10 out of 10 attempt. Sneaked in, took all the cheese. Well, that's how you play on the rope, by the way. Just go in, fucking quickly rob the guy and go into the next one. By the way, this is one of the most insanely geared globies that I've ever seen. This one isn't it though. He somehow missed two headshots. Impressive. This is where he dies. 3, 2, 1. <laughs> that was uh, comical, a little. Right, gotta kill the mobs really quick. He should have some bandages and mess. I didn't bring much. I don't think this is the geared guy. Oh, fuck. This is the geared one. Gotta be careful. This guy is an absolute fucking monster. I gotta try and bait him. So I gotta do what it takes really quick. 180 health, 50 PDR, high move speed. Pretty much majority of the stuff he has is legendary. Grim Smiles was a true damage and action. Very beastly guy. I would assume his whole gear set is maybe 50 to 60 thousand gold more or less. We definitely wanna fucking rob him. So basically what we're doing here is we gotta pretend that he is in the control of a fight. We're gonna go right there, we're gonna close the door. He's probably gonna start clearing mobs. Or he is gonna get hit by the mobs in the process. That's 50-50. Maybe he's just gonna open the door up, never mind. The mobs run my dick. We're gonna use the pot. 
We gotta switch the aggro a little bit. He gotta take the aggro of mobs and that's where we're gonna turn around. He got hit by mage. Oh, holy fuck. He got hit by mage, brother. Okay, well, I mean, that, that will do it too. There is one little tech you could use against very good players is by getting as many mobs and switching up the t aggro. Basically, when the people are very geared, they feel confident that, you know, they don't give a shit about mobs and stuff. What can a normal mob do to you, you know what I mean? And basically, they ended up getting stuck just like fucking me. <laughs> okay, maybe not exactly what I meant. So what I'm saying is, the more confident the player is that is chasing you, the less fucks he gonna give about the mobs that are chasing you. And him, you know what I mean. You can just use it to your advantage. And um, you could try switch up aggro, or you could try an attack when there are too many mobs on that guy. And basically those mobs are going to be to your assistance, and that's when you can fucking turn around and spin that person on your dick. This guy was so geared, he probably would be able to kill me in like 5 steps. And um, he was really fucking dangerous by the way, so I had to be super careful. Bro, we got a little rat. He is invested, he's not letting me loot. It's fine though. Okay, I don't want to waste my time on this guy because I check everyone in the pre-lobby. Ah, bro. I charged my fucking fireball too much. And went way too far. It's okay. Alright, so pretty much we have all the cheese we'd ever want. Okay, okay. Do want to keep one lantern just in case. Bro, there is really good stuff in the inventory that I can't pick up. Seems like the he killed somebody. But there is not that much I can do about it. Oh well. I'll take rings at least. Bro, that cloak. Mmm. Freak. That ain't right. But oh well, what can we do? We might as well just take the extract out and go into the next one. You know what I mean? Looks like this is the only guy who is left in the game. How about I try and bless him a little? That guy had at least four plus thousand gold on his corpse. If he just go to the middle and find him, fucking easiest gold for him. I hope he trusts me. But if not, it's okay. Alright, pretty much it's for him to decide whether or not he want to go and loot that guy. But yeah, I just want to tell him that there is a corpse and he could actually try and loot. This guy is not very high level. So pretty much that gear probably going to be very beneficial to this guy. Hey, what's up, dog? Uh, yeah, fucking <laughs> GG's, bro. Sorry, I didn't on it, bro. <laughs> you know, I was just it's, talking don't worry about that, it. bro. It's the game. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Bro, I forgot but, about it. It's not that deep. I've been, I've been watching your videos with the, you know, the barbarian, because I've been watching. Oh, the hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. And um, and then literally earlier on that day, we took on some big guys because of that cheese spot, and. You know, yeah, hell fucking yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I showed my uh, I showed my boy and he's like, oh no, bro, you're going in a YouTube video. I can already see the title, most toxic uh, solo goblin cave. I'm like, oh, whatever. Bro. You want to be there in the video? <laughs> yeah, bro. You know. I'll try to see uh, if uh, that could fit guidelines. Yeah. I did save it, but I'm not yeah, sure. No, it probably, I, yeah, yeah, probably YouTube would limit some me. Mad stuff, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of my go-to, just be fucking, I'm gonna, you know, just be gay, bro. They don't it's really okay, yeah, yeah, no, it's fine, it's fine. be yourself. Uh, oh, bro, big hearts, but you, you do know Claire's a little busted right now, bro. You can't oh, wait. of course, bro, listen, my last video I made, fucking, most broken, like, fucking class, ca yeah. like, no cap. And I know, I was, I was just talking stupid, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bro. Alright, brother, GG's, GG's man, Love take you, care. Man. The amount of geared players in this lobby is actually quite insane. So if I take any fight with like literally anyone, oh here we go, Bob. If I take any fight, I will have to be super careful. I don't want to get dicked on. He's leading me somewhere. This is dead end, brother. Did he not know? Pika Wista, my homie. The amount of mobs here could actually be a problem. Okay, one arm shot. That was a body shot. Okay. Alright, gotta be a little careful here. Gotta clean the mobs up. I would say not a bad starting kit. Bunch of blues. Currently, currently, the right attribute, just one right attribute on the adventure tunic and the adventure cloak 
is gonna be already almost a thousand gold. So basically, even this guy though have only blues, those items gonna be quite um, valuable. So yeah, I'm not gonna say no to this. Oh yeah. Okay. I saw this guy in the pre-lobby, he has a bunch of valuable blues. His whole gear set is like 2000 gold and I'm not even trolling you. Let's actually see if I'm right or I'm fucking capping. Okay. Oh fuck, physical power action, physical power action. This might be actually more. This actually... This is pretty good, this is pretty good. Yeah, okay, maybe not 2000, but like, probably like 1500. The um, loose trousers was action, physical power, and adventure tunic. Yeah, that's definitely gonna cost some money for sure. You tried to lock me out. Oh. <laughs> okay, dude. I tried to assert the dominance by dodging the hit, but it didn't work. I got my head shaved straight up. <laughs> Little trick for anyone who is starting out. If basically you are relatively new to the game, don't worry about dying. Think about like how many hits you were able to land before you died. Especially if you're fighting someone who is way more geared than you are. So let's say someone is superior to you just in gear. Count the hits you were able to land and count the hits the guy were able to land at you. And basically, if you were able to land let's say 6 hits and the guy hit you 4 times but you ended up dying. Basically, consider this as the win. Don't think of it as a lose because you were able to do m more hits and basically at the end of the day, if you'd had a better gear, you would have ended up winning that uh, encounter. So don't worry and focus on getting better mechanically before you will move on onto the aspect of getting better gear. So yeah, anyway, you are RDG and don't worry about dying. It's the last thing you want to worry about. This is a group of teamers. Barb and Rook. Hello there. Wouldn't expect he would just try attack me like that, but listen, don't mind if I do. Wow, brother, this barp is so horrible, he couldn't land a single hit. No, man, this is unacceptable. The difficulty to land attack with the magic stuff compared to Viking Sword is like fucking day and night. The fact that he wasn't able to land a single fucking Viking Sword hit is unacceptable. Because it's um, one of my favorite weapons when it comes to playing on a barb. But I mean, it is what it is. Listen, he had to resolve to a team to end up killing me, but um, they end up doing literally nothing. All the guy had to do was to hit me three times. Rogue hit me three times, got me to half HP. So here we go, just do the same thing. Put a little bit of effort and finish the job. But nope, he fucking failed. It is what it is. Just gotta kill the rogue and that's about it. So this is the little thing I want to do. I'm going to try and loot the guy and uh, I'll pretend that I'm looting. Instead, I'm going to focus my attention on this guy. This guy didn't really have much, but he still, it's not an excuse for him to not be able to land any attacks on me. The only attack he did was the um, arm shot. Bro, I'm literally not even moving. He's fucking missing all his attacks. Okay. So the first hit. I messed up and the second hit, he dodged himself, so I'm not gonna be overly judgy. But if I would land the first hit, it just, he moved to the side, which was a pretty good move. Let's see if he's actually gonna be interested in fighting me. First time I messed up, the second time I'm gonna adjust. It all comes with the practice, you know what I mean? It's all about like learning from the mistakes. I already figure out how the guy moves and basically the next time I'm not gonna mess up. He died. GG. This is the geared homie, I believe. Yeah, he got a bunch of cheese. Ring of Quickness is right now the blue quality costs around 250 and the purple around 600 gold. Last time I checked on market. Stiletto, pretty good quality. 5 health, strength. Okay, this guy is kid. Okay, from this game alone, we got already 4.5, maybe 5,000 gold. Oh fuck, those boots. Oh well, might as well throw Wanderer. But Wanderer Attire also costs actually quite a good chunk of money. I would assume Adventure Tunic not gonna cost as much, but holy cow, this whole gear set is actually decent. I wanna take those Lightfoot boots. I gotta think what I wanna throw. Maybe I'll throw Adventure. Maybe. 
I'm not sure. The Wonder Attire was too agility. Fuck. Yeah, that's okay. Because I do believe the Wonder Attire with agility gonna cost more than the Adventure Tunic with action. Based on my trading experience. I heard the fucking dagger right behind this wall. Huh. Oh shit. Oh no, my homie died! No, brother, this is not what you should've done! What the hell? No, bro, this is not how you should be doing as the rope. One, he fucking locked himself out. Two, he didn't fully commit. He should have full commit, that was his best option. Basically, the fact that he tried to get away, it was a big mistake. Oh fuck, he is super geared. He is actually chunky. Oh yeah, I like that. We're gonna take that for sure. Hell yeah, my homie. My homie came in with some cheese. Right behind the wall there is a fucking warlock. Oh my god. I tried to fuck with this guy for past 5 minutes, but um, I didn't want to include it in the video because it's such a waste of time. Basically it was back and forward, the guy was trying to push me, I was trying to get away, then I was trying to push him and he was trying to get away. Went back and forward for 5 minutes straight and now he's fucking back again. But listen, he's gonna get on my fucking nerves and he's gonna die fucking... You know what I can actually do to get him killed? I could try and switch up my whole gear set to the rogues that I just killed and use it as a um, breaking point. I'm too slow and um, I wouldn't be able to catch up to him until I do something. So this is what we're gonna do. Let's use the fucking shrine really quick and let's see what gonna increase our move speed. We gotta have more attack speed, we gotta have more move speed. And if we were able to change that right now, that's gonna be it. He'll not stand a single fucking chance, he'll absolutely get fucking deleted. Oh, those rings are fucking beautiful. Holy cow. Oh, oh, actually. Okay, what else? Big mistake. Your first mistake, brother. You shouldn't have used Phantom Eyes. Okay. That's one. Okay. He's gonna jump down. He got away, I guess. Yeah. It's okay. It's not that deep. I'm gonna catch up to him. Oh, well, that fucking hurts. I got hit twice, bitch! It's fine. Mm, you, you piece of shit. <laughs> You're not getting away, brother. Nothing will fucking save you. Got on my nerf. Try to fucking get me when I was trying to get my rogue. I do like to play on a cleric though, especially when you can use the shrine so fast. It's such a cheesy strat. He's not full HP and I am already. Oh, he missed. He died. He died. This is it. No, he died. This is literally it. This is it, brother. GG. <laughs> okay. My homie got deleted. <laughs> but let's not get cocky about it. It's okay. Happens to the best of us, you know what I mean. Happens to me too. So yeah, just gotta go and put the stuff back. And that's kinda it. That tunic though, oh bro, that was such a fucking clutch. 7 additional move speed in the middle of a fight when you can throw a fucking chest piece out in just half a second is mm, fucking beautiful. Oh no, my homie is cheesy. God damn. Got some move speed. He has like 320 move speed or something, I feel like. He's a fast one. Okay, well, I think we did pretty good. We killed the geared rogue, we killed the geared world. Definitely not bad. Two targets that are supposedly be the counters for the cleric. Well, they got obliterated. So we're just gonna move on to the next one. Please don't kill me, I'm a rogue. I'm definitely not barbarian, please, please. <laughs> Are you friendly or no? If you if you don't want to fight, we don't need to fight. <laughs> you don't, you had to shot me. You have a mic? Okay. 
Deal, brother, deal. I'm not killing new players. You don't need to die. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I'll go see. Guys, are you guys nice? Are you a nice person? Oh, I'm sorry. Miss input. Genuinely did not mean that. We have a Giga Juicer. This guy is the one. Double fucking crossbow. Oh yeah, those would fucking hurt. It's like 120 damage in the face. If not more. Well, this is what you need to do to deal with the longsword fighter. Basically, one step at a time. Okay, one hit in the face. Okay, touch. He would want to fight you. Basically, this is what they specialize on. So just heal up, take your time, no need to rush things. Make sure you stay at full HP. At this point, if you parry me once, he will be able to decapitate me. But, um... He's not a really good bow player though. Maybe he's a good parry player. But so far he wasn't able to land a single hit. What the fuck is shooting at? Okay, 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 okay. Well, and that's where he died. Three, two, one. Well, okay, sorry. A little bit of miscalculation. I apologize for that. It looks like someone is fighting or something. We're gonna come across those once in a while. It's almost like a fucking Cine unicorn. Those are- oh, holy fuck, what a good throw. I'm sorry, brother. GG, guys. What a great fight. Let's see what the guy has. You guys did great. No, 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 for sure. You guys are true heroes. Okay. A little bit of blues. A little bit of move speed. A little bit of purples. Now bad. More purples. Even more purples. And more purples. Not bad. That one is killing Sandipid, by the way. What the heck? It's okay. I'll just wait for a bit. Gotta let the guy kill the Sandipid. Wouldn't want to bother after. Wait, I don't think he's doing well. He got hit already twice. Wait. Wait. Oh no, brother. My homie died to Sand. Oh, holy fuck. That's a one evil fucking centipede. No wonder he ended up dying. Probably not very geared, is he? Let's see. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Full set with true damage and a purple stiletto. Nah, bro. Alright, listen. I'm not gonna tell anyone. We're gonna keep this between you and me. This never happened. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. Nobody will ever know... A that this ever happened. It happens to the best of us, it's okay. For the last three minutes I've been trying to catch up to Rogue, but he is way too freaking fast. But it's okay. Probably went down here or something. I would assume he used the shrine. Yeah, he used the shrine. Okay. Right in the face. Little judgment. If he's gonna turn around on me, he will die. I got hit by a fucking mage. That fucking suck. Goodbye. Number of times I was told that Rogue is broken. I mean, it's decent, but um... The thing about Rogue is you can never play like overly openly. Like, you always have to creep out. You always have to play passively, look for that one perfect opportunity. And by the time you're actually gonna kill someone, like, you know, do a perfect landmine, bro, you're gonna spend so much fucking time, it's ridiculous. So, yeah, I could never treat Rogue as some god tier class. Is it good? Definitely good, but it's not as good as majority of people tend to say. It's also, the thing is, if the Rogue managed to triple headshot you, he deserved that fucking kill, let me be honest with you. It means that Rogue was able to do just about enough you know, to get you down. Because usually, usually, they are the fucking food for the most time. 
I'm gonna be honest. I heard a number of opinions that are saying that Rogue is extremely broken. And basically, when they, well, they shared their opinion that the Rogue is stupidly OP, but then they go and play the Rogue and they absolutely get destroyed. Because Rogue takes a lot of practice to get good at, you know what I mean? It's not the class where you will just be good at if you start playing. It's a really fucking high effort, low reward class. Because in order to kill someone, you would have to spend so much time, it's absolutely ridiculous. You'd literally have to spend fucking days of camping. And then by the time you end up actually killing someone, oh boy, it's gonna take a minute. Not bad. Probably around 2000 gold. You also have blue bandages. That definitely something. Close to 2000 gold, I would say. Purple Raper. Bro, this root is really on my dick. He's really invested. Interesting move. Hmm. You do know that you gotta hit me with the right click, not with the left. Oh well. It is what it is. Aw, oh, man. I wanna fight this cleric, but um, fuck, I ran out of pots. Shit, I wouldn't be able to be full HP. Also, he has more gear than I am. My kid is like 3000 gold. His kid? I don't know. Basically, most important pieces that I have in my stash is um, literally two pieces. The chest piece that I spent 800 gold on, and magic stuff, another 800 gold. Okay. Ah, if I would hit him here, it would be nice. Well, I do want to fight him, but I don't want to lose stuff that I already end up getting. I also want to loot the druid. Even though, well, he's my clone, it would be nice to fight him. But, um, it's okay. The druid right here is worth looting. That's why I don't really think it's worth fighting the cleric when I already have too much stuff. Okay. Alright. Those rings, like, six to 800 gold right now. Blue strouders. Probably another six to 800. Oh boy. If you want to build the exact same gear set like I did, it's not gonna cost you more than um, two and a half, three thousand gold. Just focus on buying a good stick and um, a good chest piece. A good purple chest will start with... Um, oh, holy cow, those are actually... has physical damage bonus. Definitely gonna be around two thousand gold. I paid around 800 gold for mine, but I bought literally the cheapest one. For the drip it's not about the stats it's about the drip you know what i mean <laughs> anyway with this the video are gonna come to an end i hope you enjoyed today's episode holy cow we fought like three groups of teamers and we probably made close to eighty thousand gold anyway it's demo and i'll see you in a dungeon